really it's a lot of it's just access the proper access points and and getting to the right pieces of water to start as a guide you know i can take you there at some point you have to take charge and fish as well as you can right and you know we take a lot of beginners you know if we can find them fish on the first day they're doing awesome because i certainly did not catch any fish on my first day fly fishing <laughs> The overall experience of fishing in Squamish is uh, about the wilderness that we're in. Uh, it's not just about the catching, it's about getting out there and enjoying the scenarios that are presented, whether you're in a helicopter flying over the, the mountains and looking at the glaciers before you get to the river, uh, or driving on the, on the dirt roads along the river's edge, just staring at the water, imagining what you're gonna catch. Uh, walking through the, the trees and, and uh, enjoying the scenery, you know, taking a look at the ferns and the, and the flowers and the huge trees that are here. That's all part of the experience of being here in Squamish. I, uh, I pretty much picked up the bug as soon as I was three or four years old. You know, my uncle would come home and, uh, his, you know, he'd be going fishing and I'd be begging, pulling at his, his T-shirt saying, can I come, can I come? Uh, my dad always took me fishing when I was a teenager. I, I would throw the canoe on my head and walk, you know, three kilometers to the river and get out there and paddle out to, to catch whatever I could catch. I've got photos of, of me and uh, my friends from high school, and I'm showing them all how to catch walleye in, in Ontario just because they had never done it. And that was sort of my entrance into guiding because I, I was guiding my friends, right? I was just helping them out, teaching them how to fish. You know, guiding uh, definitely does not get old. I mean, I'm into my 19th year uh, on the water, uh, taking people, and every time I take somebody who's just learning or somebody that's been around for quite some time, fishing for 30, 40 years, they, they really appreciate what I try and teach them about our area, as well as the, the way that we fish and uh, what will make them better anglers and take that information home. Having a good team of angling guides is important to me. They, they share their information uh, from their days on the water when I'm not on the water and vice versa. Uh, and I show them the techniques that I use to catch fish on our days off. And that makes for, for better guides, I believe. Uh, we have to share our flies. I show them how to tie the flies that I use and they show me what flies they're using. And, and we come up with sort of plans of, of attack and, and uh, what's been working. Um, it works really well when that happens. And, and so whenever I teach something that I know to one of the junior guides or assistant guides, it's awesome to watch them suddenly catch on and, and catch a fish. At the end of the day, we're all, we're all out here to have fun. Uh, it, it's not always about catching fish, it's the environment that we're in. You know, the day you spend with your guide or, or the day that you spend in a new area, you're always, you know, in, in a beautiful place here in Squamish. You've got the rivers, you've got the mountains, you've got the giant trees, pure wilderness. That's all part of it. 